Hi, my name is Toby and you should probably stop using Shetsy and Toast because ugh, it kind of is boring, I would say. And no, we don't talk about these things, we talk about these things. So kind of small status messages you want to deliver to the user to give them a feeling of what's going on. And I found a library called React Hot Toast, which is really, really, really good at this. So let's take a look at it together because they make some things better. I mean, okay, it's hot by default and it's easy to use and it's accessible, which is great when you live in Europe because there's this WCAG, the Web Content Accessibility Act. You have emoji support, it's customizable. And then there's this Promise API built in, which is awesome. I get to that in a minute. Then it's pretty lightweight. It pauses on hover. So if I go in here and say, make me a toast, then we have this example here. And when I hover it, it's not getting away because that's very, very annoying when you just want to read it and you don't have the time for it. So if you stay there, it's not getting away. If you move your cursor away, it should get away. And the last thing is we have headless hooks. I have no idea what that means. Maybe that. So how do we use it? First things first. Installing the package, pnpm add, you can use npm as well. So npm install or pnpm add. So we copy that, please. Why is this not working? Zoom out a little bit. Yeah. So we copy that, go into the code, open the terminal, paste it, and we install it, and that's it. And now we have it into our project. Next step is add a toaster to your app. I use Next.js in this example. So what I did is just got into my layout TSX and here I just placed the toaster anywhere. Yeah, like in the body, but you can also do that on page level. And the whole library is currently only working in React or Next.js or every other meta framework that's working on top of React, but not Vue, for example, or Angular. So you edit anywhere, like in your layout TSX, if you're a Next.js developer or in your page directly or yeah, wherever you want to have it. Because here you can specify the first thing, which is kind of like the position. Where do you want to have it? On the top right, on the top left? Maybe you want it differently on different pages of your application. And then you can specify another thing. I think it was called reverse order. So you can change the order. You can play around with that a lot. And then we go back into the page TSX and then we have a button click me. So what we can do now is add an on click. That's exactly what I want. Thank you, Copilot or actually cursor what I use here. We say import from React Hot Toast and there we have it. We are just calling on the onclickness now. Okay, I need to dis disable cursor here because he's doing too much. It's actually disabled. We just call toast.success on a onclick listener and let's start the server, for example, with pmpm ah, one dev. And what we see then is an error because I missed the use client. It's always the same with Next.js. So refresh and there we should go. Time for some toast, click me and we got the beautiful toast. That's how easy it is. But let's look now at why this library is so cool and why it's so much better than Shatsian. And the reason is we have more options than that. We can, for example, add a button with toast.error. Pretty simple, but looks that awesome. If you really look into detail, there are small animations made on the X that is popping off. Mm, it's looking great. And if I spam things here, things just work. It looks nice. It has nice animations. And that's what I really like about this library. But let's look at the promise thing because the promise thing is awesome. I promise you. So we just make another button. Let's say we're on click and then we call a, yeah, just a method. We don't have that now. So let's implement it. And this method can be probably anything. Let's say a database request or something like that. And what you really just need to do is to call toast.promise in here. And now I'm just making a simple promise, but this can be a call to your database, for example. I just mock it up here with three seconds. And then you just provide the loading a success and an error message. And when we save this now, we should see another button, the promise button. And if we click that, we got the saving thing. And after three seconds, we get the settings saved message, which is awesome. I mean, that is such a nice user experience when you have these promises and you see directly feedback of what's going on, how long does things take. It's just feeling great as a user. But Toby, what about dark mode? Of course, I got you. Dark mode is also possible because you can just style things inside of here and things will look like that, for example. But an even cooler thing would be if you can use Taiwan styles in here, right? No problem, you can. <laughs> Let's look into the code and just paste another button, which is now a little bit more complex. And that just makes totally sense. So we can access a custom method here. And here we can just provide some diffs and buttons and whatever JSX, TSX code you just want to provide here. And when I click that, you see, we get a whole nice message. So we can really customize things here and put just TSX content in there and not just text, which is great. So as you can see, you can really do a lot. 
And now it's your turn. Go into the website. You can find the link in the description because you get some more nice things like custom positioning and theming inside of them. You see that at the top here. Awesome project made by Timo Linz. Thank you for that. And yeah, my last videos didn't work out great. So watch the ones before. For example, this one. Have a great day or a great week and bye bye.